Welcome back to The Three, where I will break down the latest news from Chicago area sports teams as well as the rest of the country. I'm Will Silverstein. Loyola Chicago is on a tremendous stretch. In fact, I have not seen a stretch like this one since I worked out with Sister Jean at Hot Yoga. Some people say, you can't stretch from a wheelchair, and then she says, come on girl, I'm Sister Jean. It just seems like it's all coming together. A Catholic school playing a national championship game on Easter weekend. A phrase you used to describe this Ramblers team is controlling. The teams edged out Miami, Tennessee, and Nevada in dramatic fashion before dominating Kansas State. The first three games seemed to be that of answered prayers, whereas the third was an actual breakdown of a major conference opponent. Loyola has held all opponents under 70 points and have brilliantly controlled the pace of games late, putting themselves in the driver's seat. A perfect example of game management was against Nevada, where they were able to lead by four with barely any time left on the clock before Nevada nailed a three. But Loyola never panicked because they knew Nevada had no time left to score with the after that three. While it seems like a whole lot of luck, there's also a whole lot of basketball knowledge and talent on this Ramblers roster. On to the Cubbies. Cubs outfielder Kyle Schwarber has lost 30 pounds after realizing maybe he shouldn't be as round as a baseball. The weight loss was done in hopes of making him a faster defensive presence in the outfield for the Cubs. But through spring training, has it worked? It certainly has. Through 19 games, through 19 Cactus League games, he hit 333 with three doubles, a triple, and four home runs while stealing four bases, as opposed to last year when he ate them. Now, there are some concerns with losing weight, as well as subbing fat for muscles, such as Happy Panda Pablo Sandoval, CC Sabathia, and of course, of late, Noah Syndergaard. He plays on the Mets, and that could be the reason why. But the point is, unlike sports such as football and basketball, where losing weight leads to stamina and more energy, Baseball players are not in constant motion and rely on weight as an advantage, whether that be for power in the batter's box or heat and pitch shape on the mound. And if it doesn't work out for Schwarber, he can maybe, you know, find the dugout for deep dish or something like that. NFL kickoffs, America's most trusted concussion. One member of the NFL com competitions committee says the league could be close to eliminating the kickoff. Packers president Mark Murphy told reporters Wednesday that the kickoff could go away altogether if nothing is done to make it safer, saying, quote, we've reduced the number of returns, but we haven't really done anything to make the play safer. That just begs the question, what makes grown men running 18 miles per hour at each other safer? The NFL has been cracking down on illegal hits to the helmet region, but all that has done has led to an increase in knee and lower extremity injuries. The NFL can go two ways with this, eliminate the kickoff other, altogether or keep the current trend going. As of now, with stronger, lengthier kickers, teams tend to go for the touchback, even with new rules giving it to the opponents at the 25. The bottom line is the game itself, while if barely incrementally safer for head injuries, is still a violent game. You may have less of a chance to get injured on a kickoff, but, you still, but, you, but until you start playing flag football, players are still going to get hurt in this game. That's it for me. Catch us next week for an update on Loyola, and make sure to catch all of our other segments on the Daily Iowa YouTube page. Thanks for watching The Three, and see you next time.